Yo, what up YouTube? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add a dust and scratches texture to your images using Photoshop. And this is gonna give your photos more of a vintage and old film type of look. And the method that we're using can be applied to any texture that you wanna to add to any of your photos. So this is super, super simple to do. So let's not waste any time, let's get right into it. Okay, so now we're in Photoshop and I pulled up this photo that I took a while back and this photo in particular, I think it would look pretty cool with the dust and scratches texture. So the first thing that we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to open up our files where we saved our textures and these textures, I do not own them and I did not create them, but there's a website where you can download these for free. So I'll link that in the description below. And for this photo, we're gonna use the number four dust and scratches texture. And I'm just gonna drag that into our Photoshop file. And with this texture, we're actually just gonna make it match the background image. So we're gonna actually make this horizontal as well. And then I'm just gonna stretch it out so that it encompasses the whole entire background image. And there we go, I'm gonna press enter. And then the next thing that we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to come here to the blending options and we're gonna need to blend it with a screen. So now that the dust and scratches appears onto the background image. And you can stop here if you'd like, but I think it's coming on a little bit too strong. So I'm gonna actually just change the opacity of this dust and scratches layer to about 50%. There you go. And in my opinion, that looks a lot better. It's not as standout-ish and it has a nice vintage and old school kind of look to it. And I think it's just a nice little touch to the photo overall. And that's pretty much it. This is probably the easiest method on how to blend a texture with an original photo. You can use this with many other textures as well. It doesn't have to be just dust and scratches, but either way, this is the final image and it is that easy. If this video helped you out in any way, please hit that subscribe button and leave a like. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.